Weird things on Google Street View. Okay, everything looks pretty much normal so far. Oh, there's a fellow with three legs. <laughs> Oh my god, that is, <laughs> that is incredible. Does he have two legs when we move away? Inconclusive, to be fair. He could still be hiding a third one from this angle. Well, that's incredible. Every time I click random, I'm showing another weird thing on Street View. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> it's just a fella just living the absolute dream. <laughs> He's got his sofa. He's got his plants. What more does he need? He's got his feet up. Oh, this is incredible. Is he actually on the move as well? Yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> I aspire to be as chilled out as this man right here. He really is living the dream. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Whoa. So we're in Nebraska now, and apparently it's just some kind of weird mental modern art thing. There's a bunch of metallic cars. Some of them are sinking. Look at that one just like melting into the ground. I don't understand it, but I like it. Show me another. <laughs> it's just a fish on a bike. Humanoid fish person stood on a bike in a lake. That's in University City, Missouri. Very nice. Okay. Again, again, again. What? Okay, so this isn't weird. It's just absolutely epic. It's bath time in Nairobi County, Kenya. Oh, that is unreal. Look at that. There's so many elephants. They're just having a little splash about. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, we can really get in amongst it. That's what's nice. I can just, like, head right through all kinds of different angles here. God, that's unreal. <laughs> By the way, these interesting street view locations are available on neil.fun if you want to have a look yourself. Okay, again, again, again. Ooh, this time we're just in the middle of Wembley Stadium. And once again, can we actually move about? We bloody can. We could just have a little walk about. Okay, how many seats do you think Wembley Stadium has? I think I've heard that it's like 100,000 or something. Okay, it's 90,000, which sounds mental. But then you think about the fact that probably 90,000 people will watch this very video the first day that it comes out. And that's when it kind of gets scary. That's mental to think about. Okay, next, next, next. It's just a giant potato. <laughs> Potato Hotel. I'm pretty sure I've seen a YouTube video on this. Has Ryan Trahan stayed here? Overnight inside the world's largest potato. Yeah, it's the same one. I'd love to do videos like that, but there's just nothing cool in the UK for me to go visit. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. The Great Train Graveyard in Bolivia. Whoa. It's just a big abandoned train. Whoa, this is cool. Look at it, like, sunken into the tracks. How does this happen? What, what's it doing here? What on earth is this place? Look at that. Okay, I've looked into it. It's quite simple. Basically, they were planning to expand into some other areas, but then they abandoned those plans. So the progress they had made with the trains just got left behind. All right, next one, next one, next one. Oh, the last blockbuster. Ah, unreal. So yeah, I've been into a few blockbusters in my time because I'm old, apparently. Basically, when Netflix turned up, blockbuster just went absolutely out of business because you used to go in and you'd rent the DVDs for like three pounds. But here it is, the last blockbuster still standing. We've got a picture of Russell Crowe. Are these some movie props, maybe? I think they might be. You know, I like movies props recently purchased a Jurassic Park storyboard which I'll do an unboxing video on when it arrives but anyway next one whoa we've just got a really really good sand castle that is insane and look how close to the water it is oh it's gonna get destroyed in like 10 minutes oh, there's a little dog there having fun as well so this is in Colombia it's a very very cool looking beach isn't it I wonder who made the sand castle ah look they charge for pictures maybe it's just plastic and they just plonk it out there every morning I mean that is actually a thing thing that people do, to be fair. Next one, next one. The corn maze? No way can we actually play along in the corn maze. Right, uh, Kai, I want some jazzy music for the maze section. Okay, I'm off. I cannot believe it. I am already... Exit? Well, let's go. I already found the way out. Dead end! Oh, no! I <laughs> oh, this is the best idea. I'll never need to go outside again. Phase two, question six and seven. I don't know what this means, but I'm quite stressed about it, to be honest. Which way shall I go? We'll head out this way. Right, we've got this. We've absolutely got this. Oh, no! We do not have this turn around. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. Do you get it? <laughs> this looks like a good little route. Big, wide route. No, no, no. I want... Hey, hey, hey. Don't take me down this way. Oh, hang on. Maybe you should take me down this way. We go up on a bridge. Now I've got a good view of it. Uh, right, which way did we come in from? How did we end up so deep in? It must be back over there that we're trying to get to. I assume it must be like near the exit as well. Oh my god. Oh no, wait. It's the entrance. Yeah, it's it's literally the entrance. Oh wait, wait, wait. Street view challenge. Find the bridge in the middle of the maze. We did it. Yay. Can I go anywhere else? I'm having a great time now. Jumping pillow. Hmm, that's probably less fun from Google Street View. Let's be honest. Farm animals. I need to watch out because they can bite. <gasps> there's a cow. And there's a couple of little pygmy goats as well. And there's a little chicken fella. Wow, well, this has been my favorite location so far. I don't know if we 
can beat this. Oh wait, hold on. There's a big fella in a rock. Oh, now we've just got a bunch of people in Slovenia saluting the Google card. That's epic. <laughs> I'd love to see the Google card. Wouldn't it be amazing? I reckon what's going to happen is the one time I see the Google card will be just as I'm coming out of my own front door and then Google will have just doxed me for the rest of time. Okay, I don't think there's much else to see other than the salutes. What are they doing over there? Oh yeah, they're walking away. They're like, great salute guys. And they're like, let's head to the park. <laughs> Whoa, it's a very fancy McDonald's in Portugal. That is incredibly fancy. Look at the pillars. Look at the big eagle. Look at the gold text. Can we actually go in? <gasps> Look at the stained glass. Look at the chandeliers. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Look at the transparent women. You know, I'm not gonna lie. That's a fancy McDonald's. Okay, next one. Whoa, the protector. This is in Glen Rowan, Victoria. I assume that's Australia, Victoria? Yes, it is. Whoa, he's a very large badass statue, to be fair. I wouldn't mess with me. He kind of put me off going in, I'll be honest. It feels like he's pointing at me no matter where I am. Oh, he's right next to the toilet sign, though. That kind of makes him a bit more lame, you know what I mean? What's that? It's like a creepy man taking a photo on a tripod, but then when you cross the road, he's vanished. So did the building. What's going on? Oh, get me out of here. I'm stressed. What on earth is this? Okay, we're on a boat, and there's just pandas everywhere. All right, well, we'll watch our step, and we'll, we'll head on through. What on earth is this? Oh, my God, look, they're even outside. Hang on, can I get outside? Whoa, more appeared. <laughs> ah! <laughs> There was one that had a funny hat, but he's gone. Where's the one with the funny hat? There he is. Look at that little fella. He's got a little rubber dinghy thing. Well, this is uh, this is mental. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, Jasovska Cave, Slovakia. Whoa, look at all the little mini stalagmites or stalactites. I can never remember which one's which. This is mental looking, isn't it? Like proper mental looking. Look at that. Oh my god, it gets better. Okay, this is an amazing cave. It's nicely lit as well. Well, that was incredible. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> From a beautiful cave in Slovakia to a fella sat on the front of a little digger forklift thing. <laughs> well, I hope he has fun. Let's just move around. Oh, he's vanished forever. Okay, we'll go forward again. And then let's go this way. And where did he go? God, he's all the way down there. He goes at some speed. How fast were they going? <laughs> Whoa, alien bugs in Sweden. I love stuff like this. I want to see more weird things just plonked about places. They look so cool, don't they? Yeah, they proper do. All right, next. Important message. This is in Cape Verde. The uh, westernmost point in Africa. And he's written a little message. And I have no idea what it means. I'm going to have to translate it. Here we go. That is not particularly helpful. An abandoned automotive plant. Whoa. Now this would be a nice place to play hide and seek. This is crazy looking. Oh, look at that. Look at nature reclaiming the land slowly but surely. All right, next one, next one, next one. It's Stonehenge. I've never been to Stonehenge, but uh, yeah, that's in England. I could go to Stonehenge. Apparently there's just always a bit of a queue is what I've heard. <laughs> now I don't need to go, to be fair, because I'm right in the thick of things. Yeah, it's kind of cool though, isn't it? I mean, it's a bit sad when you think about the fact that uh, the pyramids were built at the same time. <laughs> Whoa, Habitat 67 in Quebec, Canada. That is some pretty crazy architecture to be fair. That looks mad. I mean, I wonder what that's like to live in. Quite square. They're quite small, each individual building, aren't they? You don't want to be this fella, do you? The one that's just got completely nothing underneath it. Like, that'd freak you out a bit, I reckon. Alright, next one. Where are we now? We're at a waterfall restaurant. Oh my god, that's epic. This is in the Philippines, so they've got a big old waterfall, and then you just sit amongst it, eating your chips or whatever. That's cool, lad. I mean, how cold do your feet get, though? Because, like, I mean, if they're sat under there a while, I assume it's rather warm. The floors are slippery when wet. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, very smart. There's a place to leave your shoes. This guy's getting his shoes off, and he is ready for it. He is taking this waterfall cafe very seriously. Next one. Whoa. How is that even possible? How is that balanced on there? I don't understand at all. <laughs> I can't see anything tying it down. Is it literally just this bit of rope over here. We're about to slide past it. That is mental, but it seems to be working to be fair. Yeah, this guy's not got a care in the world. He's just cracking on with his day. Oh my god. Okay, we click again. Bloody hell. Oh my god. What are you doing there? And how did the cameraman get here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh my god. Right, how did he get there? What is he holding on to? And how was this photograph taken? That's what I do not understand. It doesn't look like he's got a 360 camera. I'm very freaked out. I'm getting vertical, guys. I'm gonna have to move on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's a 
grizzly bear eating a bloody salmon or something. Oh my god, he is spoiled for choice. That's insane. Look at all of the fish. Oh, what an incredible place. That's amazing. Look, the bear's just roaming about. Wow, that's absolutely crazy. This is in Russia and it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so this must have just been taken on a drone. Wow, what an incredible environment this is. Look at him. His hands are full. He's got like four there. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, we move on again to a giant gnome. <laughs> According to his plaque, he is world's largest garden norm, which makes me think, surely I could get a slightly bigger norm commission. <laughs> is there a Guinness World Record in it? Because, like, I've got a small lawn that I could plonk this guy on. How sad would that be for this poor New York garden centre, though? Well, life's tough, though, innit? Be a good lesson for them. World's smallest church. There is just a tiny, tiny church, and they've got a cross as well, and it's just in the middle of a lake. Cross Island Chapel, built in 1989, the world's smallest church. Oh, it's so cute. It's available for special occasions. What kind of special occasions are you going to do? You can't have your wedding in there, can you? That would be a good video, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I got married in the world's smallest church. That is a viral title. It's a shame that me and Becky don't want to get married, really. Maybe we should do it and just get the divorce after. <laughs> that is cool, though. I like it. All right, next. Whoa, we've got some big eggs. <laughs> Is that a lot of slightly smaller eggs? What are these things? I have no idea. What kind of building is this? Why is this a thing? It's in Catalonia in Spain, apparently. And I mean, they're definitely eggs. They don't just look like eggs. They are like eggs. They're definitely eggs, guys. All right, we're off again. Ah, uh, I've seen this fella in one of my first ever videos on this channel. Funniest geoguessing locations. This guy knew the Google car was coming and he was ready for it. I would love to know how long he stood there for. But yeah, as you can see, when you slide away, he is committed to it. You don't see him sit down. You don't see him turn his head. He is there still for the duration. And I have a lot of respect for it. <laughs> Burning Man, Nevada. Whoa. So this was just a Burning Man festival, which is like a big festival that happens in the desert and everyone gets all weirdly dressed up and there's cool lights everywhere. It looks epic, to be fair. Yeah, this is cool. Look at the lights. All right, here we go. It's time for our final weird street view thing. What is it going to be? Hopefully it's good. And it's just a little race car. Nah, we could do one more. Oh, go on. Yeah, there we go. World's largest pistachio. <laughs> this is in New Mexico. Kind of looks like an egg unless you see it very much from the side. Whereas, obviously, you don't mistake the potato one. Pistachio land. <laughs> hey, I'd go to pistachio land right now. All right, thank you very much for watching. That was Weird Things on Street View. Head to neil.fun if you want to see some more yourself. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And I will see you all later.